Hi, my name is Bonnie Sachs and I'm submitting this video for the Speak, Write, and Promote workshop that happened in Boston, November 2016. So, as I said, my name is Bonnie Sachs and I introduce you to your soul. What I, how I do that is through the Akashic Records. Now, the word Akasha actually means everything in the universe and that includes the vibration of everything that has ever been said, done, or thought. And so when I access the Akashic Records, I access that information for you to get answers to your questions. So I often think about it like a cheat sheet for how to get answers to things that we can be stuck on. That might be life purpose, that might be specific relationship dynamics that you have. It might also be a health perspective that would really help you out. But most often, the question I get asked is, am I doing it right? It is amazing to me how often we question whether we actually are doing this thing called life correctly. So the answer is yes. We're always doing it exactly right, even when we think we just royally screwed up. So let me give you an example of that. So I had someone who came in for me to read their records. Her name was Jen. She was in her 50s and she had been married four times. Now, if you're like me, your brain immediately goes to, there must have been something messed up with her to be married four times. So what she asked me to do was to find out if her current husband, her fourth husband, was the right husband for her. And she really wanted to know why she had been married so many times, why she couldn't get relationships correct. So she and I sat down over a cup of coffee and I opened her records. And the very first thing that came out was a past life piece of information that said, she had been married in one lifetime to a man who was viciously physically abusive to her. In fact, she died from the injuries caused from this guy. Then they told me that she had another past life where she was married to a man who left her penniless and homeless for another woman. Goodness. Then they gave me a third past life to let me know she had been married to a man that was totally self-absorbed, ignored her completely, and she was a very, in a very unhappy marriage, a very unhappy relationship. So after I gave her that information, Jen actually said, wow, that sounds amazingly like my first three husbands. Each one of them had those kinds of issues. So I thought that was a little unusual, wondering where this reading was going to and how this was going to unfold. And the next piece of information that I got is that her fourth husband is actually her reward for clearing the karma that she has had from the first three men she was married. So each one of those men was like one of those past lives that in realizing she was in charge that she could make a difference and make a change in her relationship and actually divorce the man who was not suited for her. She actually changed the karma in her life. Now, I think that's pretty cool that what looks like on the outside as someone who is a relationship failure is actually someone who has done the work to clear the karma and resolve past life issues that she had. I think that's pretty cool. Now, they didn't leave it just there. They wanted to give her a little bit more information. And so that information is that her fourth husband was actually her reward for doing the work in this lifetime, but it wasn't going to be easy because they wanted her to take her relationship a step farther and actually realize that she could trust this guy, that he was going to take good care of her, that he was going to love and respect her and not be like any of those other relationships. So for someone who's been in a relationship that hasn't been quite 
wonderful in this lifetime, that's a bit of a challenge. So she definitely says she has her work cut out for her, and I can understand that. And that's why they were giving her a little bit of that perspective. But she's definitely with the right guy. And what looks like a failure from one point of view, from the other point of view, looks like a total success. So that's why I really like that phrase, you can't judge a book by its cover, because it certainly looks like she has an inability to connect with men and to make lasting relationships but nothing could be farther from the truth. And that's why I encourage people to take a look at where they are now. Where, what is a place where you feel like you screwed up? How can you look at it from another point of view? How can you take a step back and sort of squint at it and see it from a perspective that might be you're actually learning something new, stepping into a new space, clearing something up? And that's a really awesome perspective to have and to know that we're not totally screwing it up. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I appreciate it. I'm Bonnie Sachs, and I look forward to introducing you to your soul sometime soon.